Well, let's meet the starting lineup for the visiting Charlotte Hornets. At power... Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. This is Brian Anderson with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, LaMelo Ball saw this coming. He said, quote, my whole life I always knew I was going to the NBA. I had my life planned out. I knew I'd have stardom. My whole life I thought I was the star. I can't even say I'm a rock star. It's something other than that. I'm something rare. Guys? No shortage of confidence, Allie. Thanks for that. And a chance to see the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Always fun to see where everyone in the league stands. While they're still in the bottom third of the league, they do get a little bump in the rankings. Seeing where the Knicks are, they're doing more than what people expected. And that's because they're getting solid contributions from some unlikely sources. And now let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. At the forward spots, Hayward and Washington, Ball and Rozier are the guards. And it's Plumlee in at the five spot. And for the Knicks, at the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Then there's Jalen Brunson. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's Rain Man in at the point guard position. Over the last couple of seasons, Doris, the Knicks have played great defense. Well, look no further, B.A., than their head coach. Obviously, Tom Thibodeau built his reputation on the defensive end of the floor. It begins with attitude. It means playing on a string, being committed to each other. Everyone will play defense at all times. No possessions off. Here's New York. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. And you know they had a great plan going into that one. And then made the great adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on. And we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. Now here's Rozier. Hayward for three. Clock at six. Let's the three fly. And it's Rozier. Rozier that time on the assist by Paul. Well, that climbing three-point percentage for Cherry Rozier just gets better and better. Randall against Washington. Runs on a screen on Washington. Pass to Rayman from deep. And again, New York with the triple. This is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Plumlee. Back to Hayward. Washington, a screen on Barrett. Over to the wing. From behind the arc. And Washington, good for three. Well, you love the unselfishness of Gordon Hayward in that instance. You think of him as a scorer, but he's a terrific setup guy as well. He drops it from range. He's got nine. So out of the gates, three for three. Exactly what they're looking for. Rozier outside. Pass to Hayward. Three-pointer. And the Hornets, another three. Well, Gordon Hayward answering back with a big-time three of his own. New York has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Here's Rainman. Robinson, a screen on Hayward. And he's 
one for the lob. And a big finish by Robinson. You've got to have a great sense of timing on the alley you pass. Fantastic finish by Mitchell Robinson. Rozier from outside. Doesn't go that time. So New York will take it the other way now. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. It really should be an interesting one to watch. Dale, right out of the gates, one team gets a lead with the head-to-head -head advantage, bragging rights, if you will, over the other. And tonight, it starts. And so it's Charlotte with it. The Knicks making their last shot. Here's Ball. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. What a finish by LaMelo Ball. Thin frame with that length at 6'7". He can mix it up now. And the basket is good. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. The Hornets have gone four of six in the first quarter. Brunson against Rozier. Pass the ball. Offensive rebound. And the basket by Plumley. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Now Randall. Outside Barrett. Randall a screen on Hayward. Barrett against Hayward. Shot is good by Barrett. Wow! On fire. They haven't missed a shot so far. Now here's Ball. Pass to Hayward. Fires from the wing. Here's Washington. That one's good. And it's Hayward with the setup. Washington's got his second bucket on the night. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Randall a screen on Hayward. Washington against Barrett. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Randall, good. It's early in the season, but we're already seeing some teams fall short of expectations. Grant, what do these teams need to do to get back on track? Well, first of all, they just, they have to relax. They can't panic. It's still early in the season. But, of course, it's on the leaders of each team to set the tone. They need to make sure everyone is locked in and on the same page. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Timeout call. The Hornets. Hornets. Timeout call. A big group substitution here for New York. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall. Fournier is checked in for Barrett. And Rose is subbed in for Brunson. A big group substitution here for Charlotte. Richards is checked in for Plumley. McDaniels comes in for Hayward. Oubre, he's checked in for Rozier. And it's Smith in for LaMelo Ball. Well, make no mistake, Dennis Smith Jr. is not afraid of a little contact. And he makes a first. He makes one or two that time. And we know that when Dennis Smith Jr. is playing to his strengths, this guy is an effective player. The key for him moving forward is he's got to find a way to be consistent. Now here's Oubre. Had a tough time getting anything going against the Hawks. Let's go with a three, and he buries his first look. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Rayman, coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And here's Oubre from the arc. He's off on that one. New York has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Pass to Rainman. And it's off from three-point range. The Hornets have gotten seven of 13 shots to drop. Washington passes to Smith. Here's Richards. Here's Oubre. Here he goes. 
And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You know, guys, there's one thing that may have hurt the Hornets the past few seasons. A lack of playoff experience among their four players. That free throw, no good. And of the Hornets' top five scorers last season, three have never been to the playoffs. And, B.A., that can be tough when the pressure's on. They've gotten blown out in playing games each of the last two seasons. But with all their talent, they should be in the postseason soon enough. And the Knicks making a change here. Reddish has checked in. Now here's Rose. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. No one's ever questioned his court vision. Rose playing unselfish basketball, being the leader this team needs him to be. Washington a screen. Smith into the lane. Nice D from Reddish. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Fournier for three. Washington grabs the miss. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Pass to Oubre. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. All right, let's go to the leaderboard and see the top passing teams last season. Number one, Charlotte. It was a joy to watch these guys play. Constant ball movement and player movement. Defenses were worn out by the end of games. And the first one at the line is good. Kelly Oubre Jr. entered this league as a dynamic athlete, excellent in the open floor. But give this young man credit. He's worked hard to develop the perimeter game that's absolutely critical to success. It's clear Charlotte has the pieces in place to make noise in the league for years to come. Yeah, no question, B.A. They've got one of the best young rosters in the NBA. And they're balanced. They play tremendous team basketball. Fun to watch. Here's Smith. The Knicks making their last shot to the paint. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Boy, you have to absorb the bump on the jump shot, and Dennis Smith Jr. still able to deliver. That is not easy, folks. Now here's Rose. Outside Reddish. Top of the screen on McDaniels. Reddish. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Washington. P.J. Washington picks one up. One of the things you have to think about with the New York Knicks, there are quality pieces here. Julius Randle and R.J. Barrett are very capable wings. Mitchell Robinson is a big-time presence in the middle of the paint. The struggle, guys, has been for them putting all these pieces together. Quickly is checked in for Rose. He hits the second from the line. The outdoors having the pieces fit and being able to find consistent success has eluded the Knicks. Right, and some of that has been a bit out of their control, but there does seem to be this constant thing. As they search for something that really works for them, they've got to figure this out. Knicks fans are long suffering. Here's Smith. 107 left in the first quarter. Outside Oubre, from outside the arc, drops in the three. Oubre's got nine. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, this guy has been on the money. Pass to Toppin. Here's Hartenstein. Quickly up top for three. McDaniels with the rebound. I know he wants to answer the three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best shot possible. Now here's Oubre. He's got nine. Washington outside. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Richards with a screen. Six on the shot clock. Oubre can't hit. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Here's quickly from deep three-point range. Tie game and some big points being put on the board as we wrap up the first. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. 27. enjoying the game both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far all right before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks 
Well, coming into tonight, maybe you thought they were going to settle for perimeter jump shots. <laughs> nope, that's not the case. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. But forward, it's Barrett and Randall. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's Rain Man in at the point guard. That's the five for New York right now. Now here's Hayward. Last game for him, he had 14. Ball outside. To the middle. Here's Richards. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First for the field Across the league, we've seen a lower number of free throw shots per game. Doris, has that stuck out to you? I think we've all noticed it, certainly, Brian. And there was a long stretch of time where the rules tilted heavily in favor of the offensive player. I think now the league is trying to get back to a happy medium where the physicality is allowed to just go up just a touch. And I think it's 100% appropriate. Now here's Brunson. And there's the call on Mason Plumley. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Brunson against Rozier. And he goes in for the dunk. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Brunson against Rozier. Randall outside. There's the triple. Plumley pulls down the board. Charlotte trailing. Pass to Rozier. Richards, high post. Up top, Hayward, guarded by Barrett. Here's Rayman. Oh, big finish! Oh, did you see that? And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Now here's Ball. 20 points for him last game against Atlanta. And don't forget the sensational plays he made out there. He saw the court so well, firing perfect passes to teammates for wide open shots. Here's Robinson. Right side, Barrett. Over Hayward. And it's New York with another. Yeah, R.J. Barrett is always working on his perimeter game, and he makes easy work at the mid-range. Boy, when you think back to 2021 and the year Julius Randle had, guys, a first-time All-Star, winner of the Most Improved Player Award that year, but then follows it up with a disappointing 2022 season. Pretty dime there, the kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Robinson can't hit. The Hornets have got two of three shots to go in the second. Pass to Rozier. Clock at six. And counted from 19 feet away. And it's now just a one-point Nick lead. And talking about Randall Doors, you could see the emotions boil over at times during that 2022 campaign. There were multiple fines and altercations, and that can happen when you don't meet expectations and frustrations mount. And in particular, when you're dealing with the New York media and that passionate fan base, things can escalate. Oubre, he's checked in for Richard. Brunson, no good on the free throw. Goes back up, and it's laid in by Randall. Randall's got his third basket of the night. That's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Timeout call, the Hornets. Derrick Rose, he's checked in for New York. Looking back at last season, the best when it comes to shot blocking. The fourth spot held by Mitchell Robinson. It's obvious that he completely dedicated himself to protecting the rim, doing everything he could to get his hands on as many shots as possible. Pass the ball. Hayward outside. 
Offline with a three. The Knicks with the lead. For three, Randall hits the trifecta. Randall's got ten. Well, you cannot sleep on Julius Randall. Catch and shoot jumper. Okay, Julius, we see you. Knicks lead. Rozier finds ball. Back to Rozier. To halt the run. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Rozier. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Charlotte Hornets. On Friday, they'll go up against the Magic in Orlando. Then on Saturday, they'll go up against Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. Outside Barrett. Pass to Randall. Out to the wing. Rose against Rozier. Rose can't connect. The Hornets have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Ball passes to Plumley. Now here's Oubre. Rozier outside. Plumley a screen. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Rozier's got four points this quarter. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. Barrett passes to Randall. Nice D from Hayward. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Rozier. Beyond the arc. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. Hayward's got three assists in the game. All right, starting to heat up now. He's been much more efficient with the shot in this quarter than in the first. Here's Rainman. 13 points in the game. Barrett passes to Randall. Uses the glass on the layup. Randall's got 12 points in the game. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Count that bucket. The Knicks have gotten 8 of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. And not many teams have as solid a piece to build around as the Hornets do with LaMelo Ball. LaMelo clearly is a guy who has incredible confidence, incredible vision, and asset ability. When you look at his ability to make the game easy for the players around him, and sometimes in transition, to make those elite athletes look incredibly special, he is a guy that you would enjoy playing with. Rose right side. Pass to Rainman. Launches it. And he can't get that one. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. After nailing three trays to start this game, he's gone silent here in the second quarter. Rose against Smith. Shot clock at six. The three from Ball. Nails it from beyond the arc. The ball's got the second bucket on the night. If you give LaMelo Ball an opportunity to capitalize from the deep corner, forget about it. Turn the lights out. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Oubre can't hit. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Oubre against Fournier. Off target with the three. Charlotte has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. And Washington powers it through. If you leave a teammate of LaMelo Ball that wide open, I promise you, he will find it. Rose, the pass to Toppin. Back to Rose. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. 47. Two minutes remaining in the first 1.52 half. Two left in the first half of basketball. It's deflected. Pass to Rayman. Oh, there's the alley. Good D by Ball. Charlotte has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Oubre with it. The three is up. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. Reddish is checked in for New York. Quickly comes in for Rose. Richards is checked in for Charlotte.
There's a minute 17 left to play in the second quarter. A great recognition from Dennis Smith Jr. Creating the separation and shooting with confidence. And outside, puts up a three, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, brings it. Next lead, Smith against quickly. Washington outside. Gets the three to fall. Washington. Washington's got five points in the quarter. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Here's Hardenstein. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Hardenstein a screen. Shot clock at five. Richards pulls it in. Charlotte has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. From 11 feet away, Smith no good. Pass to Quickly. From deep, and no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And that'll do it for the first half. This game is tied. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not let them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, not let them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. Hi, everybody. We've got your favorite segment on tap as we check out how the Eastern Conference is shaping up. Looking at the Knicks, they started this season on the right foot, something we kind of expected given their offseason. We'll see if this is a pace they can maintain as the year rolls on. Now let's change gears back to the New York Knicks, who find themselves in a tightly contested ball game. Uh, they've been pounding the ball inside, getting easy buckets in the paint. This strategy is diesel approved. Shocking that one of the best interior scorers ever likes bully ball. Because I'm the biggest, baddest bully ever, Ernie. Thanks as always for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Here's Barrett. On the court for the Hornets. Rozier out on the wing with Hayward. Washington and Plumlee patrol the paint. And it's Ball in at the point. Defensively, you pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Boy, there were lots of expectations that accompanied R.J. Barrett coming out of college. That's going to happen when you're the third overall pick. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. And he's going for the oop here. And it's stolen by Plumlee. Here's Rozier. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Assisted by. Ball's got his sixth assist of the night. You know, watching R.J. Barrett is a treat for us whenever we get a chance to do so. Yeah, B.A., he is a tremendous young man on top of being a player who so desperately is searching for greatness and working to get there. What you love about R.J. is he's trying to add to the offensive end of the floor year by year. Yes, he can get off the dribble drive. Now can he consistently make that perimeter jumper. So it's the Hornets now. The Knicks making their last shot. Slam dunk by Plumley. LaMelo Ball loves creating for his team. I love the look right there. Just so easy to play with. Barrett passes to Robinson. Inside. Here's Rain Man. Outside Barrett. Deflects the pass. And here they come. From deep Hayward. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Randall, a screen on Rozier. Pass.
pass to Ball. Plumley a screen. Hayward, the pass to Rogier. Just five to shoot. Over Brunson. And it's Charlotte with another. See, once you've allowed Terry Rozier to start to percolate, very difficult to cool him off. Barrett against Hayward. Here's Randall. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Randall's got 14. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Here's Rain Man. He's got 15. Here's Barrett. Plumley pulls down the board. Plumley's got his fourth rebound in this one. Rogier finds Plumley. And here's Ball. Plumley a screen. Over to the left wing. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. The three from Washington. It's rebounded by New York. The three. Book it again. Seven for 12 and going at the defense. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. And the Hornets call time here. All right, let's take a second to view the 2K leaderboard. And look at last season's top scoring squad, Charlotte, fourth. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Ball outside. Pass to Rozier. Fires from deep. The Knicks pull it in. Robinson's got four rebounds now. To the inside. Brunson passes to Barrett. Robinson on the wing. Randall on the screen. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on ball. Uh, before he arrived in the NBA, Jalen Brunson had a ton of success in college. This guy instrumental in Villanova's national title in 2018. For all he did at the college level, Brunson still dropped to the second round of the NBA draft doors. He did, B.A., but he showed he belonged right away. His numbers get a little bit better every season. At 6-1, he's a strong finisher close to the bucket. He can play the one guard. He can play the two guard. He can make open shots. He can get in the paint and score. Jalen Brunson is a big-time contributor to a high-quality basketball team. I think the first thing that strikes you when you watch LaMelo Ball is the flair and the vision he has for passing the basketball. So much so, guys, consider the second second youngest star to ever hit 700 career assists. The first, LeBron James. Top it. He's checked in for New York. And so Ball nails both of them. It's been so impressive how quickly LaMelo Ball has adapted to NBA play doors. Well, from the outset, B.A., he has looked like he has belonged. This guy distinguished himself amongst his class of rookies. And consider now, it's really about refining point guard skills, continuing to be consistent as a perimeter shooter. Point guard position has a lot of responsibility. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. Now here's Rozier. 19 points in the game. This game is so close. One or two plays can make the difference. It's so imperative to try to make each trip count. And so much attention drawn by Rose, he knows how to exploit that to create for his guys. Rose against Smith. McDaniels, a screen on Rose. And here's Oubre from the arc. The Knicks with the rebound. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Pass to Hartenstein. Now Barrett. And there's the call on Dennis Smith. His first foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. So for the Knicks, Reddish comes in for Barrett. And Fournier is subbed in for Brunson. Now 
outside Fournier. Six to shoot. Back to Hartenstein. For the lead! They now take the lead. And the Knicks lead by one. Well, there's a craftiness that is required in this instance, and Fournier makes the right pass. McDaniels, a screen on Rose, and it's Smith penetrating. Rozier finds Oubre. Pass to McDaniels. The three. That one no good. New York has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Now here's Toppin. Fires for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Rose has got four assists now tonight. Well, big men like Toppin need to shoot from range. And he's showing he's got tremendous touch. Down here, Smith. He's got five. Richards with a screen. Rozier from outside. It's rebounded by New York. Rose has got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Reddish. Top of the screen on Oubre. Out to Rose. Takes the three. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got four rebounds now. Smith with it. Here's Rozier. Guarded by Rose. Looking to end the drought. Rozier gets the bucket. Rozier's got 21. Well, the creativity of Terry Rozier off the bounce. This is what makes him so effective in pick and roll action. Pass to Hartenstein. And he banks in the layup. And they've really managed to dominate it, They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. It's McDaniels on the wing. Three-pointer, no good. The Knicks have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Here's Hartenstein. Pass to Rose. Up and over Smith. Rose can't connect. The Hornets have gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Here's Richards. Now Oubre. Outside for Rozier. McDaniels, a screen on Fournier. Jacks up a three. McDaniels, that's Jim good. Daniels. McDaniels got himself on the board with a three there. Well, that's his shot right there. You know if he gets any kind of room, he's going to dial it up from distance. Timeout called. The Knicks. Here they are, man. Put your hands together. Put your Knicks The Hornets making a switch here. Washington's checked in. Make some noise for your Knicks. Quickly against Oubre. Pass to Toppin. Here's Rose. Shot clock at six. Toppin on screen on Smith. Rose into the lane. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. He able to shut it down with the forward. The Knicks making a switch here. Barrett's checked in. Charlotte trailing. Here's Richards. Pass to Oubre. Smith outside. Clock at six. And Mitchell Next Robinson foul. picks up the foul. Mitchell Robinson. That's his first foul first of the game. Foul. Second team foul. Smith outside. Just five on the clock. Pass to Washington. And the ball out of play. The Knicks will have it. Well, that's miscommunication. And we we'll rarely see that happen. Mason Plumley. Lamelo Ball. Barrett against McDaniels. He shoots. And Obi Toppin gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Substitution for the away team, Gordon Hayward. A deep three from Ball. 
Cam knock in the three. Three quarters of play and a close one here. Knicks out in front, up one. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. At the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's Rain Man in at the one spot. That's the five for New York right now. Oubre can't hit. The Knicks with the lead. Here's Rain Man inside. Randall a screen on ball. Outside for Randall. Takes a three. Can't hit that one. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Orlando where they'll face the Magic. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Here's Plumley. That's in. Mason Coming off Plumlee. an assist from Hayward. Hayward's got five assists in the game. New York's shooting is around 55% so far. Hayward against Barrett. Outside for Randall. The three is up. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Plumley. Pass to Ball. Plumley a screen on Barrett. And Ball gets it to go. And the Hornets lead by three. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. And the Knicks miss again. The Hornets have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Hayward, the pass to Plumley. Now Oubre from downtown. Rainman grabs the board. I'll tell you, he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Washington inside. Robinson defending. Washington inside, working on Robinson. Good work defensively by Robinson. Here's Rainman. Outside Barrett from deep. Kept alive. Randall. Good. Now seven for 11 on the night. Well, Julius Randall knows how to get to the offensive window and create shots. 74. Oubre passes to Ball, and the officials call a traveling violation. Boy, not on the same page there, and in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. Charlotte making some changes. Richards has checked in for Washington, and Terry Rozier subbed in for Oubre. Randall a screen on Ball to the paint. And it's Randall with the jam. Wow, Julius Randall with a little flavor on the finish. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Well, the Hornets shooting around 50% of the game so far. Rozier, the pass to Plumley. Now here's Ball. Back to Plumley. Pass to Rozier. Down to five on the shot clock. High post Plumley. Ooh, locked in. Drains his fifth shot in as many attempts. Coming down the stretch. We'll see if someone can capture the lead and hold it. And that's been an issue. Five lead exchanges tonight. Here's Barrett. Second shot opportunity. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for New York. They've been all about high percentage looks in this game. Working the ball inside and doing whatever it takes to get it to go. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Sends it home from three-point land. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Outside Barrett. 
Here's Rain Man, hounded by Ball. Here's Rain Man. Hornets with the rebound. Richards has got six rebounds here tonight. Now here's Rozier. Pass the ball. Lays it up and banks it in. And it's a three-point Charlotte lead. Showing more patience this half. His shot selection has improved, and his field goal percentage is rising. Outside Barrett. Randall, a screen on Hayward. Here's Barrett. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Rozier, the pass to Ball. Got a hand on it. Randall with it. And there's the lob. This is the court awareness that gives you great hope for R.J. Barrett. He's a scorer, but if he can complement that with passing, look out, folks. Plumlee a screen on Brunson. The six-footer. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. What you love about Mason Plumley is there's a level of professionalism in terms of his effort and energy. He brings it every single night. And you know, Doris, in addition to the effort Plumley puts out there, he's a dependable scorer in tight. B.A., he's going to get the vast majority of his scoring opportunities in the painted area. He can finish with either hand, and what is so underrated about his game, his ability to find people, to pass the basketball in tight spaces. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. Rozier against Brunson, who poked away. Here's Rayman. An absolute bomb from three-point range. 23 points in the game. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. Humley finds ball to stop the run. No good. And New York will come the other way. Here's Rayman. Book it. And it's Randall with the assist. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. Pass to Plumley. Ball with it. Plumley a screen. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. Ball's got 11 points here in the second half. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Robinson passes to Barrett. Soft touch off the glass. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. And no doubt, coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Washington's checked in for Charlotte. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Steve Clifford was discussing with his players. He focused on perimeter play at both ends. On D, he wants to prevent open looks from deep. And at their own end, he thinks they can create better shots with better ball movement. We'll see if he gets his wish. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Allie. Now, LaMelo Ball relishes these moments. That young man has no fear. Pass to Randall. Robinson, a screen on Washington. The drive by Randall. Hornets with the rebound. Plumley's got seven rebounds in the game. Rozier, the pass to Plumley. Here's Ball. Puts it up from 12. Here's Washington. And Washington powers it through. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. And no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Ball. And Washington with the basket on the assist by Ball. Washington's got four this quarter. Washington against Randall. Here's Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. A 
Well, Julius Randle can do a little bit of everything. That's a great find to get his teammate an open look. Ball outside. Pass to Hayward. There's the triple. Count it! And he's brought them within two points now. And the stakes were high right there. What the fuck? I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Julius Randle under tremendous pressure with the big bucket. Rosier outside. From outside, off the mark. And so they foul intentionally. First personal foul, second team foul. Grant tried to seize control now. And B.A., if they can convert here, they might be able to close the door. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. They're behind by seven. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Once again, for your next Breaker dance crew, show them some love. Twenty-nine seconds left to play in the fourth quarter, and here are the Knicks. Seven-point differential. Screen by Robinson. Here's Rainman, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And so it's New York winning this one. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. Saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as we present the New Balance Player of the Game.